Thanks, Rose. Thank you. Hey, guys. All right, so inspiration, first timers. It's my first time on the main stage. So uh, since a theme here, and it's kind of a... Uh, kind of flows into what I'm about to read. The, um, about 20 years ago, I started a course to become an author for children's literature. And as it happens, life gets in the way. And uh, about three or four months ago, I told life to get the hell out of the way, and I decided to finish the course. So, <laughs> It's not an easy thing. Um, this is a nonfiction article that I had to write to... Uh, cover something that I'm passionate about. Luckily, it didn't have to be audience towards kids. So I thought about the one thing that I am very passionate about right now, and that's you guys. So, so it's called The Magic of Vaudeville. Every Monday evening, I leave my house and take a short journey to a place of magic, mystery, comedy, and adventure. Inside the doors of this humble-looking storefront, a simple stage comes alive as performers of all kinds bare their souls to entertain the audience. This is no ordinary evening at the theater. This is an immersive experience known as vaudeville. Vaudeville was a popular form of, uh, excuse me, popular form of entertainment from the mid-1800s until the early 1900s. And this was long before movies and television and even radio. Variety shows had, of course, long existed, but they were kind of limited to dances and singing and a couple of uh, performing shows about theater. But these performers roamed from town to town, always looking for their next performance. Circuses also roamed the countryside. But they were expensive and involved a lot of people and a lot of animals. After the American Civil War, the middle class grew and people had more free time. It became apparent that there was a desire for local entertainment that was going to be around. Some cities did have regular performances. They were, of course, the, the great opera halls that did uh, famous operas in French and German. But nobody really spoke those languages much, and nobody really had any money for a night at the opera. There was much less expensive entertainment, of course, but tavern shows and burlesque houses are not really the kind of place you want to take your kids. Other family members, maybe. What was needed was a variety show that was accessible to the average person and clean enough for the whole family. And thus, the genre of vaudeville was created. Now, vaudeville is essentially a combination of a local performance hall with many migrating performers. Every week, the schedule would be completely different. It would be filled with new and returning acts. Some would do comedy skits. Others would sing popular songs. Still other performers would do circus-type stunts or uh, sideshow acts. The variety was up to the manager of the vaudeville house, a.k.a. Russ. <laughs> he was charged with hunting down performers to play on the stage and then ensuring that there would be an audience to play to. <laughs> the rise of vaudeville eventually had a dramatic impact on the culture in America, whereas people were often isolated across the country, only occasionally getting glimpses of something new when the circus came to town. Vaudeville houses ensured that there would be something new every week. Performers were able to travel the vaudeville circuits and spread news and stories about what they'd seen all over the country. You know, when I wrote that, the first thing I thought of was Iris and Rose, so I don't know if you guys actually have heard of it. And um, of all the shows that are out there at Renaissance Festival, they're the ones who actually seem to be the most human. They'll stand up and they'll tell a story, and I have learned so much about everything else around the world just by listening to these guys, so I kind of thought about that. Tribute to them. Over time, the invention of radio, motion pictures, and eventually TV led to the demise of vaudeville as the primary source of entertainment. I mean, nowadays, aside from bands on tour, not many performers have to travel around to make a living. The freedom to be new and creative has actually been replaced to a large degree with the pressure to do whatever it takes to sell a movie or commercial time. And as a result, the quality of our entertainment has somewhat diminished. So, Every Monday night, I take a little trip down the road to remind myself of the magic that exists under the scenes of our daily lives. This playlist is never the same. Some nights, there'll be belly dancers. Other nights, there may be short comedy skits. Sometimes, there are poems searing thoughts that will bring tears to the eyes of even the most stoic person. This is a world of entertainment that stirs the heart and inspires the soul. I invite you to try to find a local vaudeville show. Many places still have them, though they're not well known. You never know you might be inspired to create something amazing. That's that one, thank you. <laughs>